Hi, welcome to the Functional Skills Network. Today I'm going to uh, do a video on compound interest. So, compound interest is what you'd normally find um, banks would give you um, savings rates or you, you get charged on credit cards, mortgage, it's real life stuff this. So, you might be asking a question to find uh, 3% um, um, of £5,000. So, a normal scenario is, is a person's putting £5,000 in a bank and they get 3% interest. How much do they end up with? You could be asked after one year or two years. So, I'm going to do this two different ways. The first is the simpler method. The second uh, method is the more level two, the higher thinking. So, this is what you might be expected to do. So, to find 1%, uh, we'll start with the uh, the nice easy method. Uh, so, we'll do £5,000 divided by 100. You do it on a calculator, you can actually do it um, just in your head, because all we're going to do basically is knock two zeros off, and we end up with £50. So, this gives us 1%. I'll put that in brackets. We want 3% times it by 3. Right, you can just do that. So, 350s are £150. So after one year, your interest that you would add on would be £150. So you'd end up with £5,150. Pound sign. Very important in functional skills, isn't it, this? Um, so it might ask you, though, to give uh, the compound interest for two years. So we have to work it out, this method, like we've done here, and then do the same for a second year. So I need to find my 3% again. Well, first of all, I find my 1%. So I divide this by 100. Um, I can't actually just take two zeros off like the other one. So I've got to actually move the decimal point two places. So, do, do. so we end up now with £51 and 50p. So that's 1% on our second year. I want 3% though, so I'm going to times it by 3. 0 times 3 is always 0. 5 threes are 15. 1 three is 3, 4. Um, 5 threes are 15. Right, in the question, I've got two numbers here after the decimal point. So in the answer, I've got to have two numbers after the decimal point. Okay, so I've got £154.50. and p You see, it's just a little bit more than the first year because we're finding 3% of a slightly larger amount. I've now got to add this on to my original amount here. Get rid of that. So I'm adding on £154.50. and p I'm going to put a couple of zeros up there to make it easier. Zero and zero is zero. Zero add five is five. Uh, 0 add 4 is 4, 5 and 5 is 10, so put 1, uh, carry 1, sorry, and put, put 0 down, and then I've got 1, 2, 3, and 5 add nothing is 5. So I end up with £5,304 and 50p. So I'm now going to show you another way. Um, I'm going to keep that amount, 5000 uh, I'll just leave it there. Where it is, because this method is nice and easy and won't even take up much space. Make sure that's all gone. Lovely. OK, so 3%. Important to know 3% as a decimal first. So I do 3 divided by 100 to convert it into a decimal. Uh, I'll do it on the calculator. 3 divided by 100 is 3 tenths, but also 0 0.03. So, if you wanted to find 3%, you would do 5,000 multiplied by 0 0.03. But if we want to add it on in one go, we'll change this to a 1. Because if you times anything by 1, it stays the same. So, I'm going to do 5,000 times 1.03, but it's 2 years. So, I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to times it by 1.03 twice. So I'm going to put my 5,000 in, multiplied by 1.03, multiplied by 1.03, have I keyed it incorrectly? Yes, I have, equals, so first of all I get it's a fraction and then I click standard to decimal and I get an answer of £5,304.5, but it's money, so I have to put a zero on there. 
Right then, so hopefully that was useful. Um, uh, so that's at level two. Um, I'm going to put that into my channel now. So uh, any comments, put the send me a message or anything like that, put it into the comments. Um, I'm hopefully going to get some uh, exam papers and do some walkthroughs of those. They're going to take a long time to do, though. So have a good day, folks, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.